In this problem, we're told a pitcher claims he can throw a 0.145 kilogram baseball with as much momentum as a 3 gram bullet moving with a speed of 1.5 times 10 to the 3 meters per second. A. What must the baseball speed be if the pitcher's claim is valid? And B. Which has a greater kinetic energy, the ball or the bullet? Right, so imagine this is our ball. We know its mass is 0.145 kilograms. We don't know what its speed is, right? That's what we're trying to fall, uh, solve for if their momentum is equal, right? And we know this is the bullet, right? Mass 3 grams, and then its velocity is 1,500 meters per second, right? Which is just 1.5 times 10 to the 3. All right, so for A, what we're trying to do is solve, uh, we're trying to find the baseball speed if the pitcher's claim is valid, right? And he's saying the momentum is the same, right? So in order to solve this, you need to know what momentum is. So we just denote momentum with P, and we know momentum is equal to mass times velocity. So what he's saying is the momentum of this, right? The momentum of the ball is equal to the momentum of the bullet, right? So if we say momentum is MV, then that means the mass of the ball, right, times the velocity of the ball has to be equal to uh, the velocity of the bullet, right? So... Uh, the mass of the bullet, I'll just say BU, so mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet, right? So we, this has to be true, right? And so we know, right, we're trying to find the speed, so for these to be true. So what we want to do is solve for V when we plug in these, right? Because he's saying they're equal. So that means the velocity is just going to be equal to all the variables that we have set so far, right? So let's just go ahead and start plugging this stuff in, or actually, let's just solve it, right? So if you divide both sides by M MB, you'll get the velocity. So the velocity of the of the ball, right, is going to be equal to the mass of the bullet times the velocity of the bullet divided by the mass of the ball, right? So the mass of the bullet, right, is three grams, but we need it in kilograms because this is in kil kilograms too, right? So we know three ki uh, three grams, right? There's a thousand grams for every, or there's a thousand grams for every one kilogram, right? So essentially 0 0.003 kilograms is equal to three grams, okay? So that's going to be the mass of the bullet times the velocity, which is 1500 meters per second, and then you divide by the mass of the ball, right, which is 0.145. So you want to go ahead and plug this in your calculator. 1500 times 0 0.003 and then divide by 0.145. And when you do this, you're going to get it equals 31.0344 and so on. You can round however you want. You can just say 31. So Q minus 31, and then we measure velocity in meters per second. So 31 meters per second, that's going to be your answer to A. Now let's move on to B. So B is trying to find which has greater kinetic energy. So, right, we know kinetic energy is just one half mv squared. And since we know the mass and velocity of each, we can solve for their kinetic energy, right? And we're just trying to find which number is greater. So let's just start with the ball, right? So the kinetic energy of the ball is going to be equal to one half times its mass. Its mass is 0.145 multiplied by its velocity, which is 31. Right, 31 squared though. So go ahead and do this 0.5, right, or 1 half times 0.145 times 31 squared. When you go ahead and do this, you're going to get 69.6725. Keep in mind we measure it in joules. So now we got to see if this one's greater. So now the bullet, it's going to be 1 half times its mass, right, in kilograms, 0.003 times 1500 squared. So 0 0.5 times 0 0.003 times 1500 squared. And when you do this, you'll get 3375 joules. So we can tell this number is way bigger. So that means this kinetic energy is greater, and this is the bullet, right? So which has greater kinetic energy, the ball or the bullet? It's going to be the bullet, right? Because it's 3,000 versus six, or about 70, right? So this is going to be your answer to A. This is your answer to B, right? So the answer is just the bullet, right? So bullet, this is your answer to B. And yeah, hopefully you found this useful.